And it just won't let me be I got my own trouble Well, baby Oh, and it won't let me be I hope and pray that the doctor will please help me. I got my own trouble, yeah, and I don't think like you. Yeah. When I play with my group, um, there's a lot of uh, free form, uh, meaning that uh, there's a lot of improvisation uh, and there's a lot of influence from. Uh, psychedelic music from the 60s but also from uh, the outster jazz guys from that era as well miles davis and yusuf latif and uh, john coltrane and um and also indian indian music um to a certain extent as well and so you know the part of what i do is is somewhat traditional blues you know i, lo I love bb king and latin and hopkins and uh and all that, but I also love the Grateful Dead and Maha Vishnu and uh, Jimi Hendrix and uh, uh, Frank Zappa and, and uh, All My Brothers Band and all that stuff too. Um, so, uh, so it's a bit half and half. <laughs> I love black American music of all types, whether it's soul music, whether it's blues, jazz, um, soul, you know, uh, funk music, you know, I love Funkadelic and, uh, uh, you know, uh, Sly and the Family Stone and Stevie Wonder and um, uh, Donny Hathaway and all that stuff too, you know. So for me, it's, it's just, you know, it's all coming from that same emotional place, you know, Ex people expressing what they got to express. And I think that they all are connected, at least uh, in my mind. Um, and uh, I discovered them all uh, bit by bit through being into their sort of uh, their their peers. You know, it's like I'd listen to Miles Davis and and then, you know, it's like, oh, you should listen to Wayne Shorter or Ornette Coleman or Yusuf Latif or or Sun Ra, you know, and, um, you know, it's the same, you know, as if you listen to Otis Redding and then you, and then you listen to, to, uh, uh, listen to Booker T and EMGs and Isaac Hayes and all that, you know, it's one thing leads to another. And I'm a music fan. I love, you know, hanging out at Dim Shop Coco Records today and, you know, it's like, I feel at home you know, peruse. I actually feel more at home in a record store than I do in a music store, like instruments and stuff. It doesn't in interest me as much. I'd rather be looking through trying to find music I haven't heard or, you know, have a bond with. The last of me. It won't be the last of me. All right. I saw Elvis on television with Scotty Moore, and I wanted to, I was like, man, that's so cool. And I thought Elvis was so cool, you know, still do. And then uh, I saw the Blues Brothers movie where Steve Cropper is in there. And it was the same thing. It was like, I want to be like that guy. So, you know, when you're that young, you don't really question that much. But I didn't come from a musical family. All my family are athletes. And, um, uh, you know, I was fortunate that my parents uh, allowed me to get a little cheap guitar. And um, I don't know. It was just an escape. It felt good. You know, yeah, it was an escape, you know, something to get lost in, you know, music uh, still is that way, you know, for me. So, um, yeah, you know, it was just I enjoyed it and and went for it, you know, that's all, that's all I can basically remember, you know, it felt good, you know. In the evening, when the sun goes down. You're gonna find me somewhere hanging around 
for the nightlife. Name no good life, oh. but it's my life. I said all the pretty people They're just like you and me Everybody's dreaming, baby I think that if you allow yourself to be vulnerable um, That's as much as you can give an audience, you know Because there's two types of performers There's performers that get up and they have like a They have a facade that they've created That you can hide behind, okay And, 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 and there's the element, I think, to all performers That you have to have some sort of thing that you use like an actor uses you know but if you're uh, like I think of um, people that I really uh, admire Donny Hathaway was that way um, yeah meaning no meaning that uh, they allow themselves to be completely completely vulnerable uh, to the point that you're you're seeing the most intimate thing that they can share with an audience um, that's what really draws me in you know and so that's what I try and do and some days it's easier than others I mean it depends on your how you're feeling you know um, because some days it's easier to just kind of act but I think the goal is to try and just be as uh, honest as you can be and that's the thing with blues music whether it's whether it's like the thing about watching some of those old guys you know watching lightning hopkins or or uh watching bb king in his prime back in the 60s or 70s you know and watching um muddy waters or or Howl the howling wolf or um you know when you watch that it's just you know you're seeing them you know you're not seeing some showbiz thing you know and that's something that still is really appealing to me because it's very honest you know with all my hopes and my dreams With a nightlife And no good life people now But it's my life Well now, it ain't no good life people now, darling Well, you know, as a human being, I'm a lot less selfish than I used to be, uh, you know, because I really only ever think about my daughter now and her well-being. And um, uh, as far as my playing is concerned, uh, I enjoy my playing a lot more because I'm not so focused on all of the other crap. Um, because my priorities are different than they used to be. So when I'm getting a chance to play music, it's a lot more, it's a lot easier for me to just relax and have a good time and enjoy it and enjoy it for what it's worth instead of, um, it becoming work or me being preoccupied with other things that don't really matter, if that makes sense. Because, uh, you know, uh, I just think different now. Well now, child, listen. Little listen. Cause I'm guessing. Well, that you've been missing, baby. Well, do I just say one? Don't hurt you none, baby. You need love, baby. You need love, darling. Yeah, now. Nah. Yeah, well, it won't hurt you none, baby. No, no, no. Yeah, but you, but you need love, baby. Most of the people. Uh, well, most all of the people that originated the art form of blues, you know, were uh, were humble people that needed a, a way to express what it is that they had inside to express in a way that wasn't going to get them in trouble. 
you know. So um, that remains, you know, to this day. And I think that, um, uh, you know, that's at the very heart of it. And it's like whatever you have to express. I mean, if it's if it's something so if it's something social or if it's something uh, political or if it's something you know, it's if 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 you have something that is meaningful that you need to express, that's what it's there for, you know. You know, and uh, I try. I try until the day they put dirt on me. a diamond that ain't polished how's that you know it's um, primitive it's not refined you know jazz and other types of music are refined blues is not refined blues is primal and raw and the antithesis of refined you know it's animalistic or should be <laughs> We announce our listen. Learn a lesson, baby. I love uh, what I do, and I love uh, having the opportunity to do it. And uh, you know, I don't come from from wealth. I don't come from money, and I've I am very fortunate that I've been able to only ever have to play a guitar for a living. And um, I'm really grateful for that. Um, so um, one thing I say most nights is I say, you know, I hope you feel a little better than you did when you came in. You know? And I try and mean that. You know, I do mean that, you know, because uh, that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a release, you know. Music is supposed to make you, make you feel good and shake your butt and, and, uh, and give you an excuse to forget what's going on, you know.